This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Just uh, passed the sign, as Yosef mentioned, that 20 kilometers to Tilwet, or in Hebrew, Tilvat, where there is buried the great Sadiq Rabbi Aharon, Avi Chatzera, the second son of Abir Yaakov. <clears throat> so let's just mention that the name Abi Chatzera is one of the most prestigious, illustrious names of all the tzaddikim in Morocco. And the patriarch of the <clears throat> Abu Chatzera family was a great tzaddik named Rav Shmuel Elbaz. Mm. Rav Shmuel Elbaz was also Rav Shmuel Abu Chatzera. Now there are a lot of legends about where this name comes from. However, Rav Shmuel Elbaz is mentioned in the Shem Hagdolim of the Chida where the Chida says that the name Avu Chatzero, the way it was originally pronounced, Avu Chatzero, was Merov Prishasoy Midarche Oilam Azeh. He was so above the needs of this world, he was Avu Chatzero. He always yearned for the Chatzero, the courtyards of God. That's where the name comes from. But when we get to the cities of the descendants of the Chatzero, we'll, we'll speak about some of the other... Um, anecdotes that they say about the origins of this name. So he was the second son of Abir Yaakov. The oldest son of the Abir Yaakov was Rav Masud Abu Chatzera. And they were younger brothers, Rav Yitzchak and Rabbi Avram Abu Chatzera. So he traveled all over to collect money for the Aniyam in Morocco. And while his father was alive, he was, so, he was afraid of his father, of the Abir Yaakov. <coughs> He was so scared of his father that Rav David Avi Chatzero says over that he had chazaka that for Kiddush he would be the one to pick up the kos yayin and put it on his father's hand. But he would tremble, he would shake so much that the wine almost completely spilled out every Shabbat before he got the wine on his father's hand. But even though he wasn't, he had a distance from his father Bechayav after the Abir Yaakov passed away Rabbi Aaron Abu Chatzero was the one who published and was involved in the publishing of all the works of the Abir Yaakov. He was Nifter on the first day of creation, Chafhei Elul. And the tradition is that the sun stood still on the day of his Petira until they buried him. And in fact, in the Piyot of Rabbi Shol Nachmias, he brings Petira to biyom shishi la'achar chatzor hayom ha'kvura ne'esa Na'asata v'neis haya that the sun stood still until the kvura was completed before the Shabbat. So that's Rabbi Aharon, Abi Chatzera, Zchusay Yagen Aleinu Amen. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.